Yo ninjas, welcome back to the show, Ninja Bucks, it's Lodoing, and what did you eat today? Yes, welcome back to another episode of something new. Yes, so in this episode, yeah. like the title says, uh, we're gonna draw something. This is my first tutorial that I'm making. I, I actually was against tutorials for like reasons like why should you listen to me? <laughs> like what do I know? Okay, so in advance I tell you like this is not this is just how I see it, uh, how to draw a head, or what I know, or think I know. There are many ways to draw it, but now I'm gonna explain a bit how to draw a head. Like a human anime manga head, the way I do it. But this is not 100% like you have to do it like this. Um, there might be better tutorials out there, well <laughs> most likely there are. Um, but if you have any comments or tips and if you enjoy it press the thumbs up if you enjoyed this tutorial or nice. want to see more of it just let me know in the comments um, so that I know that you actually enjoy it. So in this one we're gonna draw some anime heads and I'm gonna explain a bit with my voice here and face <laughs> how to draw it in a way um, or how you can draw it yourself you know. Alright, so I am drawing right now digital because my traditional video camera arm, I, I cannot put it here because I'm not at home right now. I'm at my Ninja Chance place, uh, which is why it's harder. Or I cannot uh, fix the camera angle yet. Um, so it's nicely on the drawing, you know, because at home I have this arm that can hold the camera. But over here, this table. Uh, doesn't is too thick so that's why it's now digital so you can do this traditional or digital however you want um, yeah just follow follow along I'm just going with the flow here nothing planned just from the mind and speaking what I think I know <laughs> you might even know it better than me just let me know in the comments if you're a more experienced artist but maybe if you're a noob or just a starter with drawing you might find some um, treasure value in this that you can apply to your own shit <laughs> yeah all right let's just go into it and uh, see how this tutorial goes all right okay so here we're digital also i placed my layers on the left side so you can see uh, my shit on the right side because i have a face cam here which i think is important well i think it's important not that you always have to do it if you're not uh, if you don't like that stuff okay let's see so Right now I'm gonna draw an, an head, a head, a head, and uh, yeah, okay, let's see, so, so the head is mostly a circle, like this, you know, uh, depends on what kind of shape of head you have, because there are also people with weirder shapes, <laughs> yeah, so that exists, so you have this circle right here, and then you have the jaw or the cheek or the you know this thing here and then you have the chin like this and yeah try to make it symmetrical <laughs> something like that and then you have uh, ears here around here somewhere and yeah, people also have different types of ears, so it's not like that every head has to be a copy exactly the same, unless that's your intent. Try to keep this sort of symmetrical, and this, I, I, I made a lot of mistakes, uh, well I probably still make a lot of them, but to make it, I try to make it more symmetrical here, but yeah, some, some people have maybe a bigger left ear than the right ear or something. So it's somewhere like here, some of that ear stuff, but you could probably also draw it more like uh, realistic-ish, something like that. Yeah, ears, well this is a head thing, so let's save that for another time, and yeah, I have to practice ears a bit better. Alright, so, so about here are the eyes so this in between 
has to be the same size as this so as the eyeballs unless you have a different style of course but it's also handy to uh, watch or know some basic realistic shit how to draw stuff but for now let's uh, just do it uh, I do it like this so it doesn't always have to be like that if the eyes are bigger like you can also make super big eyes depending on uh, what you want but this is just a sort of indication like that an eye can fit in between here well now it's a bit bigger like this can probably f not f but it's oh. less so too here so it's a bit bigger so it really depends on what you want um, here. and don't forget to save if you're digital But it's something like that, so the eye sockets, uh, yeah, need to be here. Something like that, and then if you have this line here with the jaws, then somewhere here can be the nose. Depending on what kind of nose you have, you can have also have like a nose like this, or I don't know, many types of noses, or just uh, two steps. But I like this nose right now. Um, so the eyebrows around here, like with the ears. And then you can make your pupils, your your I things um, it depends also like what kind of character it is like a bit more serious as smaller uh, pupils and the eyes like let's say a character is very serious the eyes are more like Let's grab this head here for a sec. Now oh, the head might be a bit too long. A bit too long. Well, let's uh, place this head here again. So let's say a character is a bit more serious. Just think like uh, Zoro from One Piece. Or uh, let's see who, who is more serious in anime. They have more like smaller eyes like i believe uh from what i've heard that like in, they, they always like criticize that in in japan or that anime has a big eyes right and then uh like what but they they japanese don't have big eyes what you cannot make big eyes because you don't have big eyes yourself but actually disney told osuma tezuka the godfather of manga that to make bigger eyes you have better expressions for your character uh, okay so let's say the character is more serious he has smaller eyes um. <laughs> like this nanny <laughs> yeah something like that or just like hmm. can also like also when well, I feel like, okay, so let's say you have a character that has like a sort of circle and then the eyes um, with a pupil here. It looks a bit more scary sometimes. Um, but yeah, maybe this guy is not so scary. I don't know. But uh, like if it's it's more... smaller the character is 
like more serious like more of a badass kind of eyes so here we actually the point was about heads but the eyes are also sort of part of it i guess uh, yeah just let me know <laughs> just uh, telling what i think i know but if it's true that's the question so okay so here's the more sort of sort of serious eye uh, and then this is more like uh, yeah sort of badass eye because this is smaller um or maybe just do it like brock from uh from Pac-Man. so then you just, just do like well <laughs> the people who already know it know what his eyes are and you know you just do this yeah <laughs> super serious <laughs> No, probably not. But I think uh, yeah, Brock is an interesting character. You can immediately know, like, okay, this is Brock. He just says, this is eyes. I think with, with anime, manga, for me it's important that each character has different sort of style or something you can recognize them with. So let's say... Uh, so instead of just make a circle for a character and then a character is a bit more like that or you know but i prefer if a character is like a circle a square and a, a <laughs> triangle and a square um so you right immediately know that these are different types of objects or shapes so i think it's important with a character that it's easy to identify that a character is different from each other so it's not like like uh, every character is a circle with a stripe and then another circle with something here and then another circle that is all circles but just with some uh, custom made shit on it but i think it's more important if characters can be uh, a bit more you know like not exactly the same so you can depends also if it's a main character or not i think the main character needs to stand out um with your manga because it's the main character <laughs> yeah no shit sherlock and it's uh, crew for example his uh, or some side characters or important characters in the show let's say you have a boss or something they need to stand out i think uh in in the in the manga that you're making or anime so you can right away recognize them and for example you have side characters or whatever or background characters for those they they might be more of the same types of circles uh but i think it's important for the main cast that you can easily recognize them when you watch the series and also in shape so let's say um so the shape like if you draw a panel and and they're in distance that you can like okay so yeah so you have a, a house or whatever and then in in the distance um you have characters and then you can right away see okay let's say this guy have a, has a triangle head and uh this guy uh maybe it's a bit long guyish i don't know maybe it's yes, uh, this oh maybe it's that a bit too similar and then uh i don't know big ass guy but that that okay you can right away see like if they are uh all in a group together in the distance this is that character that's that character you can I immediately see the shape that there are different types of characters so not that, not, that, not that a copy paste of each other you know that sometimes i don't enjoy really that well maybe so for some shows it works but i think it's important that not everything is like like uh only this or only that but with a different costume or whatever but you know you have different you have um i guess i probably won't do it always like that maybe some characters are supposed to look the same but just a different costume or whatever like what you have with uh, mortal kombat you have at the beginning when it started it's just a ninja with different colors but i still liked it for some reason even though it's the exactly same design but just a different color but maybe it just depends on uh okay for the ninjas for example that counts maybe or or power rangers for example but like let's say okay they, they sort of are a group right but if you want 
So we have different types of characters. I think it's more important that not always the uh, shapes and everything has to stay the same. At least that's how I want to make it with my manga. Um, and also not always have the pointy hair, the standard, you know, thing. But yeah, <laughs> as you already know, I might have drifted a bit with the anime heads. But basically, uh, with the anime heads, you can just make uh, like a circle. And then you have the, 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 the English word for, what is it? Your cheeks or something. And also you can make like, like let's say you want to have more of a Superman kind of chin or like crimson chin. Uh, you have a longer chin, you know, or Frankie maybe from One Piece or the ball chin, you know. Like depends on what type of character it is. But I think uh, with anime this also counts. It's not only cartoony shit. Like just look at One Piece. One Piece is a great example how he differentiates different types of characters. You can immediately see the difference between a character or most of the times. Well, his females uh, sometimes look the same, but even though he has a lot of different types of females, I think. Like it's not only the sexy females, it's also the other ones. And Big Mom, you know, that's a different shape. But yeah, a lot of them look maybe sexy, I guess, with a template, but I don't know. Um, yeah, and I guess it's also important that you have sort of your own sort of style to it or... But yeah, you need first to know the basics. But I guess you can already you, you can already start it. You know why not? Just just experiment and and improve on yourself. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure if this uh, tutorial is helping anyway and at all. <laughs> like you can uh, you have also this one uh, anime character or manga character from. Uh, uh, wait, let's just make a quick head here. That has, that has like a really small face, you know. I think you know it from a prison school. It's like a very, or the head is, I think, normal sized, And then the face is super small. So you can immediately recognize, okay, that is that character. It's, it's, <laughs> it's just, it's also sort of a, a gag thing you can do in manga and anime and stuff. Probably not in comics because it's uh, more realistic there, right? Yeah. But that's what I like about the manga and animes and stuff, you know, like you can just have different types of characters with different faces. I believe uh, like like in One Piece you have this character which just just adding these, I think it was Marshall D. Teach from Blackbeard from One Piece. He has these uh, things here and that's like his in his design. The eyes, I don't think it fits. Like you also have, like for example, Rock Lee uh, from from Naruto. He has really round eyes, or maybe it's not that round, but the eyes are super round, I think, and the big eyebrows, right? I think he has big eyebrows. But you can I forgot how his nose was. Meh. <laughs> but yeah, um, but with heads, it's mostly a circle. Well, that's not really, I cannot, uh, okay, so a circle, and then you have the jaw, and this is for a man, by the way, but you can have the pointy chin, like in Bakuman, they have really pointy chins, and uh, that's also in other manga, and then you also have, like, more of the Superman-ish chins, the manly, manly chins, so it's uh, more like this, um, I think Naruto also has it like that more, right, I forgot. Well, there are basically lots of uh, chins. Just research your anime and manga. Um, and that's also a thing. Reference and all that stuff. Like, what kind of character do you want your your head to be like? Um, but there's so many ways to do this. So there's not one way, you know? Just experiment. But the basic is mostly the circle. And then you have the things here and that. This is not a copy-paste tutorial, but it's just like... The, sh the shapes are important as well, or the most important, because that's the foundation where you build your character on, the shapes. So the shapes you need to figure out, uh, and then then you fill in the details in between, you know? Um, this is probably not uh, completely realistic, uh, how an actual face looks like, um, but it's also handy to study that, 
real life faces. Nice. Uh, and also the skeleton, skeleton, uh, the skull. You know, uh, the skull has a certain shape. But yeah, that's uh, a lot of studying. Like if you draw the skull and then the muscles and then the skin. Yeah, that's also something I have to practice actually. But this is just uh, sort of I don't know introduction, I guess. Or yeah, just <laughs> just let me know in the comments, you know. Um, but eyes, yeah, you have different types of eyes, and then the head. Yeah, you just put it on. You can also have like a long head, an egg head, and then it's like I don't know. So I don't think it's fixed or you should be keep it like that way unless all your characters are copy paste of each other but just with a different set of eyes colored eyes and hair you know yeah this really depends on what you want with your stuff let's see let's make another nose uh, uh, what's uh, uh, maybe in a sort of some of these types of noses <laughs> or sometimes the mouth is super small like this or just a nose like this you know yeah you can go all directions it's all you're free to do what you want if it works that's the big question though. like uh Sometimes doesn't really matter how well. I guess it sort of does matter how the character uh, if the character works, but also what it does. You know what the character does, uh, his actions in the story. Because maybe like one piece is a great example for this like you have these goofy gag characters some some sort of random side characters that at first you think it's not an important character and then suddenly it becomes important character and then i think that's uh, genius how how you how oda does that at your oda um that it's still that, that that every character can mean something in the story even though he might looks ridiculous at, at the first point uh at the start or when you first see the character and then suddenly it's like a super important character it's like in real life you maybe see a person that you think looks ugly or goofy or whatever or that's a really weird as character person and then it suddenly is like oh shit this is this uh, i don't know genius uh, scientist or whatever or i don't know something like it's in real life too you know like okay you of course have a sort of uh yeah with a book and covers like in a way you, you judge book by covers right but when you get into it it might be a little bit different but yeah in the end you still have to sell your books or manga if you are into that but like if you just want to draw just for fun, you know, just experiment and figure it out. <laughs> Basically me saying, yeah, do it yourself. <laughs> but yeah, okay, like, okay, you can have a character like this with a big ass hat. And they're probably real people, some real people. Not every person in real life is the exactly same. Like there's some template maybe for humans how they look like but that doesn't mean that every human looks like the same there are people that born with weird as shit and they don't look the same and that doesn't mean they cannot be important in your story it would even be the main character but there's always this sort of standard anime style and if you want that you know you should just copy that or make it your own uh like the standard shit but i think uh I don't know it's important to yeah just uh, well if you enjoy it you know that there's a name for it, the standard anime style I forgot it at the moment but 
it's there. Oh wait, this is an eye. We're supposed to be talking about heads. <laughs> oh well, let's just, uh, you know, you can have eye like that, for example. What more eyes do we have? Or the really, you know, there's these, these are the old school eyes with Dragon Ball as well. Um, yeah, man, so many types. Okay, uh, not sure if this is clear. And also, uh, females have different heads, I believe, or shapes. I think, well, with e East, well, it depends also what type of race it is, I think. I think with anime girls, it's their heads are more white. Or with Eastern girls, the shape. And they have, uh, in anime, <laughs> they have a small mouth. Well, and big eyes, small mouth, big eyes. If you go to the stereotypical way. Um, to make it more feminine, more round, unless it's more of a man woman, or in between, you know, you can do what you want. The big eyes, you know, with the. And uh, the shine in it. But it has, doesn't have to be like that. Anime heads. Yeah, and the hair is also uh, another thing. Like, I, I believe it should start off from one point with the hair. Like, so, let's say you have this point here. And then. All the hair should go in a sense go from this point like in real your own hair if you look at your own hair it starts uh, you have this uh, sort of spot right I forgot the English word and uh, kruin or something in, in, in the ne netherrealmish in the Netherlands but uh, I believe all these lines should go to Rome so the to that spot and then in a sort of you know way but just also look at reference and you know what kind of hairstyle you want for your anime character um, for example with curly skull at the main character of my manga I'm still figuring out the style over the years it changed like I'm still a bit in between like okay should I make it more like this kind of chin or more like just straight to the point or more round because yeah he's like a typical shonen main character but it should not be the exact same like for curly i over the years i like this type of nose for some reason i first drew the nose more like uh, uh let's see like sort of like this but i really hate that type of nose i mean for my characters Maybe some characters have it, but I don't really like it anymore over the years. Like I try to improve my drawing uh, art quality, but then if I look back at my older chapters that I already finished, it looks really shitty. Well, I guess you always will have it, but I don't know. I think it, it, it can be improved before I go to the real deal. But Curly is still the main character and he should be more like a, a, a Goku Luffy kind of guy. Um, a, a, a typical shonen so I, so yeah I'm still in the process actually to figure out his style or how he should be the his design you know like or more like bigger pupils like uh, my hero academia he has big big eyes and um, also the shine and the inside you know pupils Pew pew pew, pew pew. <laughs> yeah, and the ear, you know, why? Like with One Piece, the ears and Dragon Ball as well. The ears are really big ass, but it's not like yeah. So 
well this expression is not well he's more surprised here but yeah just keep practicing it and yeah also with curly i made the curl because i want the main character to stand out and i don't see a lot of main characters like this it's sort of like the pompadour like with uh, hajime no ippo's um, uh, takamura and what more do we have gto maybe no he is no he doesn't the old what more animes do have those pompadours there's shunny flodder from uh, a dutch television show also uh, one cool uh, character it's a comedy show but i still enjoy uh, you know it and oh yeah you have also johnny bravo of course and then here you also have the neck here uh yeah there's somewhere there behind and then the neck shoot yeah something like that sort of anime neck ish and here's the the, the bone here ish but you don't really see all the lines of it nor the hints of it if you understand it better uh, you can make the hint lines that the under so you you know what's under there so that that's why you know what lines to put there the color bone or what it's called and then you have the other wings bones i don't know the english words <laughs> maybe not even the dutch ones but it's something like that this more uh what for for curly the head how i draw it right now at least might change later yeah it's not fixed yet or at least the new one the older one was fixed sort of but i don't like it anymore it looks shitty to me <laughs> but also this thing i have to figure out whether to draw it like this or uh more like this you know but i think i prefer the other one And maybe the eyes should be like I thought the eyes should be more bigger, like this. But maybe it's not. Maybe it's too big. Like yeah. Well, I, I'm still figuring out it myself, you know, uh, how to draw my characters. And I think if you, but like you can make a hat, um, but make a good hat. That's more difficult I, everyone can draw you know just a circle some shapes but to make it good that's that's the difficult part to make the design work for your whatever if it's just for fun you know it doesn't really matter but if you want to improve lots of reference or practice definitely practice is needed um Yeah, something like that. Um, mm -mm -mm. But this is the front head, so <laughs> yeah, it's just the circle, this, two stripes, this, and this. Unless you want to have it more manly with the chin, like this, then, and try to make it symmetrical. Then here and here, in between here are the ears, and here is the eye and try to keep this part between the same size as the eye well it doesn't always have to be like that and then but yeah just uh, figure it out uh, what you think if it looks good for you and then the nose here the mouth it should not be too low unless your character is <laughs> yeah maybe for some gag moments in your manga looks funny or like really big mouth like hey <laughs> hey <laughs> you can do what you want but the basic shit is just a circle that stuff here you know just do it and figure it out maybe this chin is too long actually but some people have long chins right and different types of chins ball chins pointy chins you know uh maybe uh round chins as well and more maybe three balls <laughs> but with woman it's probably not like this i think this is more like a manly chin the the this kind of chin 
I think woman is more like this. More like uh, not too too squared because like a, a man is more of a square and women are more round, soft. You know, they have more. Women, uh, men are more like uh, uh, cube shapes, and then women are more like uh, like this. You know, and men are more like a square. Ish. If you look at uh, the movie from from Pixar up, you can uh, really see it. Like the old guy is like a square. Even Master Roshi is more like squared, and then the women are more like that kind of shape. So yeah, I was supposed to talk about heads here, <laughs> but I also talk about <laughs> drifting away about some other stuff. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if this. Uh, <laughs> First tutorial that I ever made makes any sense uh, in a way. But yeah, you have to figure it out yourself. Everything I tell is just what I think I know. And then you can also maybe uh, get some of your own think I knows so that you think what you know, that you, that you think that you know that. Wait, what? <laughs> think what you know exception like i don't think it's like uh fixed unless you specifically want to draw in a certain style if you want to have a really anime -ish style you should just check, check out their tutorials or just watch the art that you want to emulate in your own work um yeah i'm still practicing how i should draw like it's never stopping you know this artwork shit there's no end to it. It's a lifetime thing. But I think at some point there needs to be a sort of standard for it. And then you can upgrade on it, you know? Um, and also finishing your sh stuff. Yeah. When is it really good? I don't know. Is it, I guess it's just... Uh, Maybe it doesn't really matter. Maybe it matters more what you tell with it. But in a sense, you need to have some sort of basics. Like if you watch at the Shonen Jump long running series from start to where it is now, you can see the evolution of it. Uh, there's probably some upgrade in there over the years. But, for, but you can probably still see that it is a specific character. What is it stuck? Yeah. It was stuck for a second, but yeah. Okay, so these are the heads. How you can draw them. <laughs> no, I'm not sure if this makes any sense. Uh, just let me know so, in the comments. Uh, drop down your comments or how I can tell it better. Probably, well, probably a bit more practice to practice to tell you ninjas. Um, yeah. Yeah, just let me know. And then, uh, yeah, just let me know in the comments. Press a thumbs up if you want more of this stuff or some improvement in it. Uh, but this is just like real time talking with your ninjas about it, having another, another video up, and actually my first tutorial uh, kind of thing. Not sure if it, uh, yeah, I told it already, but makes any sense. But yeah, just let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, maybe you uh, can do something with it or practice your own stuff, look at reference and also uh, real time or real life humans and also real people's reference. If you don't know anything at all, maybe that's a sort of basic how you can uh, get it. That might be, it should be a bit bigger maybe, but it's something like that. <laughs> it's all wrong what I told you. No, <laughs> I don't know. Just let me know. Uh, yeah. Uh, if it helps a bit with your stuff or not. And then we can move on to the next stuff.
pointy chins. No. Or round chins, yeah. No, this is it, yes. Because, uh, not sure how long we've been busy. Anyways, thank you for joining once again, ninjas. Uh, yeah. Alright, ninjas, thank you for joining this tutorial, the first tutorial yeah. ever made. It was supposed to be about, about hats. But I drifted a bit further and talked about things that has to do with it. Nice. Um, maybe you get some understanding of it clearer if you're a starter with anime, manga or drawing. Um, not sure if uh, this helps, but just let me know in the comments if it does or what can be improved. Draw better! <laughs> just yeah, um, do it! Yeah, man. Just let me know. Um, yes. So, what do you think about this first tutorial? Let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you for joining once again, Ninjas Ninja Box Kishili. And see you, Ninjas, the next time. Ninja Case! Ninja Case! <laughs>